I'm AJ Newell from Tampa, Florida, and I'm a professional golfer on the Symmetra Tour. Hello, everybody. My name is Fatima Fernandez Cano. I am a professional golfer uh, competing on the Symmetra Tour. Hi, I'm Sofia Popov, and I'm from Heidelberg, Germany. I'm a player on the Symmetra Tour, and I wish you a happy Women's Golf Day. Happy Women's Golf Day. I would like to wish you a very happy Women's Golf Day. I think golf is such an amazing sport for women to play, not just to play in college or not just to play professionally, but it's one of the few sports out there that you can play for the rest of your life. And that's one of the things I really love about it is I know it's something I can play for the rest of my life. And it's such a great way to get out and meet people. If you're a female who knows how to play golf, it really can help you in the business world when you can go out and play in the company scrambles and get out on the course and conduct business with other men in the company. And I just think it's such a great thing for women to get involved and it's something that I'm super passionate about. Why not? Um, I guess for me, um, I just love being outside, so that's a huge part of it. I love everything that golf has taught me, um, from patience, hard work, dedication, and also uh, it's taught me just like many things, but also it's a great, it's a great way to meet people, make friends, be outside, and, and just live great experiences. I would advise more women to play golf because I think it's a great way to socialize and to spend about four to five hours really getting to know each other connecting to the other person and building lifetime relationships. I started playing golf when I was four years old and I was inspired by my dad uh, who took me out to the golf course um, when I was about the age of four and I have loved the sport ever since then. My dad first got a golf club in my hand when I was still in diapers. I know he was very eager for me to pick up the sport that he loved so much and he never pushed me to play, but I think as soon as I got a club in my hand, I absolutely loved it. And I played my first tournament when I was six. And I think as a young girl, I quickly realized that this was a sport that I could play with my dad and it'd be something fun that we could go out together and experience every day. For me, it was my parents. Um, they used to play when I was younger and I remember them driving me and my brothers out to the golf course and just, you know, mess around with golf clubs and try to hit the ball and that's, that's how I got into it. Um, and why? I don't know. I guess they thought it would be a fantastic sport that would teach me great things and so it did. So I'm very thankful for that. My best golf related memory was my first year on the LPGA Tour. My first LPGA event was in Hawaii and me and my dad both loved studying World War II history and it was always a dream of ours to get to see Pearl Harbor and to be able to take him to see Pearl Harbor while also playing my first LPGA event that week was probably one of the most special things I've been able to do with golf. Competing in teams. Um, every time I've been able to compete in a team is something that I've that I've carried with me. Of course, I love all the little wins that I've had, but when I got to compete in teams, uh, whether it was back home in Spain, competing with the national team to, to uh, in the European Championships, or whether it was here in the States, competing in college golf um, in the in the NCAA, so that was always a lot of fun. It's something that I've that I've bring with me forever. I think the one thing that golf has taught me the most is that if you're persistent and you keep working hard, you will get better. Golf is such a hard thing to see improvements on a daily basis and it's something where you have to come up with a plan and you have to stick to it and every day you have to show up and do your absolute best. You have to wake up every morning and ask yourself, how am I gonna get better today? And after a few weeks, after a few months, after a few years of work, you can look back and just see how far you've come. And that work ethic has really helped me off the golf course as well and business and my personal life. And I'm just so thankful that golf has given me the opportunity to grow as a person and to, to learn things like perseverance and resilience. It's taught me many things. Like I said before, it's taught me patience, um, hard work, dedication. It's taught me that if I want something, I have to get out and get it, uh, go out and get it. Just work hard for it. And it's also taught me something that I bring with me into my life, of course, many things, but uh, especially one that it's been that it isn't fair. You know, golf isn't fair. Life isn't fair either. Sometimes you hit a fantastic shot on the fairway that ends up in a in a poor spot, and it happens, and that's okay. You just have to, you know, move on, hit the next shot, and and try again. And in life, it's the same thing. Sometimes you do all the right things, and good things are not happening. But just keep keep it up, keep working, and and things will come your way. One thing that golf has taught me is patience. I think um, on and off the golf course, patience is um, one of the greatest. Uh, 
tr personality traits that you can have and uh, will help you to become successful in whatever you do. So I think patience is definitely the biggest thing golf has ever taught me.